Hello and welcome back to Simple Roblox Studio uh, tutorial of astronauts. Okay, first of all, uh, I am going to open Roblox Studio. Now we're back to game name, which is for the tutorials mostly. Uh, I have used it before. Anyway, uh, first of all, uh, today I am going to be showing you uh, how to well, I, no, I'm going to be explaining what R6 and R15 means uh, in uh, uh, Roblox avatars. Okay, so first of all, if you go to plugins, you will see this load character uh, add on. I use it to, well, you can use it to insert characters into your workspace. So it, it is free, of course. Uh, usually it is uh, first, I, th I think always, but anyway, you can also search for it if you don't find it. Uh, now, then go ahead and install it. Well, ah, and you can find it not in models but in plugins uh, in the toolbox. So, anyway, yes, uh, go to plugins th afterwards up here and then load character. Uh, already, Pro is the guy who created it. Yes, uh, I usually click. Uh, I usually check this box which says uh, spawn at origin, um, and then we can go to add a DJ for series. Uh, okay, I'm going to add. I'm going to add both uh, R6 and R15, uh, so that I can show you their difference. Yes. Okay, so now here we have here we have uh, two ages for series. Anyway, uh, yes, let me name this R six, and this will be R fifteen. Okay, they look exactly the same. Uh, but they also ha but uh, they do have many differences. Well, no, they don't look exactly the same. This there is a mistake over here. You can see, but n not to worry anyway. Uh, this one this doesn't affect much. I usually use uh, R15 because uh, I prefer it uh, to R6. Uh, it help, and I will tell you why. Okay, so the number that follows uh, R is the number of parts each character has. So if you have uh, imported R6, uh, R6 then uh, except for the accessories and the humanoid and uh, the textures and everything, the, these uh, blocks, the, and except for this, and these blocks, these blocks uh, that are the body parts, um, are uh, no, th th there are six of them. Yes, they are six. Okay, this is why it's called R6. Okay, now uh, you can see the head, the, the left arm, the left leg, the right arm, the right leg, the torso. We always exclude the humanoid root part, uh, it's uh, just uh, it helps with some animation plugins. Um, well, actually, the animation editor, which is the, yes, the animation editor. Ah, we will be explaining these later. So basically, you should know that when the humanoid root part moves, uh, if we move it in an animation, the entire body will move. It cannot move separately, like individually, like uh, an arm or something. Okay, so that's it for R6. Uh, R15 is a lot more complicated. There are 15 parts, and, and instead of just having one part for the entire leg, we now have left foot, left lower leg, left upper leg, and these are just for the for the leg. It is very complicated. Why? Simply uh, excluding the so without the humanoid root part. I repeat. 
Okay, so why should we use uh, R6? Why should we use R6 and not R15 or the opposite? Well, R6 is for new uh, to animation and programming people. Uh, actually, w what that means is that if you are new in, uh, in programming or animation. Uh, or with computers in general, you should. Uh, I suggest that you use R6 so that you learn some things. Uh, although you have used Blender, then R15 is probably the right way to go. Because if you uh, work with R6, pro the animations are, of course, going to be uh, of lower quality, and the parts are going to mo be moving. Actually, you can only move the arm which is okay it is uh, fair enough it's simple and efficient but if you, wa you want uh, to have a more high, cal high quality animation I suggest that you use R15 because you can you can move uh, you can s select this uh, shoulder let's call it to stay to stand still, and then you can use this part, the lower arm, to make it go higher, uh, to us er, to rotate it, and the hand will of course uh, move with it. So what I'm saying is that you can you can also uh, with R6 if you want to animate somebody walking you will just have to move its legs separately and you know it will only be one part well obviously you can make a more realistic animation in general with R15 but if you're going to be using our uh, if you're going if your character your avatar um, is uh, taller so if you have made the taller or body to body, if you adjust it scale and everything let, let me show you what I mean okay so I'm just going to be taking Georgie Tassi uh, 765 from the uh, from the Hall of come on from the Hall of Fame uh, of Military Tycoon 2 and 1 no from Military Tycoon 2 okay I spawned him in R15 yes Okay, R15. Now, he has made his avatar taller than ATGZ for cherries. You can see that it's it's uh, obviously a lot taller. But when I add R6, it's actually short again. How did this happen? Because Simply because I, like I said, R15 is a lot more detail and complication, while R6 is just the simplest form to go with. Uh, it, now, R6 is just like 80 days for days, but uh, if you my point is that if you have a character that has the default scale in his body uh, then uh, both R6 and R15 will spawn it, uh, as it as it is as it is supposed to be as you have said it to be but if you have made it taller then you will be then you're about to have a problem because that character will actually be shorter or taller if you have made your character shorter okay so let me just select them and delete them yes. so in conclusion uh, if you want if you are new uh, or if you like R6 use R6 it's um, there there is less procedure to make it work and uh, but if you want to make a professional animation then R15 is the way to go uh, that's it for today's uh, for today's uh, informal tutorial 
uh, I hope you I hope you enjoy this and to and I also hope to see you uh, later on. Thank you very much. Goodbye.